Is he doing no. this? Right. Here it comes here. Ready? All right. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's finance committee meeting. My name is uh, Jimmy Van Bramer, and I'll be serving as your acting uh, chair of the committee on behalf of Council Member Ferreris Copeland, who could not be here today. I want to recognize members of the committee who are here Council Member Lori Cumbo, Council Member Vanessa Gibson, Council Member Helen Rosenthal, uh, Minority Leader Stephen Matteo, and Council Member Mark Levine. Uh, today, the committee will be voting on two very important land use items. The first would provide a partial 40-year Article 5 tax exemption for the McKinley Manor Apartments in Councilmember Gibson's district in the Bronx. This resolution would extend the project's current tax exemption to preserve 60 units of Section 8 rental housing. Councilmember Gibson supports this resolution. I want to also recognize we've been joined by Councilmember Robert Carnegie. The second item concerns the Madison Court Apartments located in Councilmember Ferreris Copeland's district in Queens. She is supportive of this resolution, which would maintain the affordability of the property through a partial 40-year Article 11 tax exemption to preserve 60 units of rental housing for low-income individuals and families. Before we vote, I would like to remind my colleagues that the fiscal 2018 executive budget hearings will continue tomorrow, May 11th, at 10 o'clock a.m. in the Council Chambers. The committee will be joined by the Committee on Housing and Buildings to hear from the Department of Housing, Preservation and Development, followed by the Department of Buildings. We will again meet tomorrow at 2 p.m. with the Committee on Immigration to hear from the Mayor's Office of Immigrant Affairs. Before we vote, I would like to turn it over to Councilmember Gibson uh, to speak to the issue in her district. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, good morning to all my colleagues. Thank you for being here. I wanted to uh, go on record and just expressing my firm support for the Article 5 tax exemption proposal before the committee. Um, McKinley Manor is a long-standing part of the Morrisania community in my district and Bronx Community Board 3. And while we talk about affordability and preservation is really important as we continue to build new construction across the city of New York. And in our borough of the Bronx and in particular in my district, um, going through a Jerome rezoning and all of the other efforts that we are embarking on to not only lift families out of poverty, but give them long-term housing, which is what they truly deserve. So when I look at McKinley Manor and these 60 units, it is a part of that fabric. And so as you have this proposal before you for an additional 40 years of tax exemption um, to keep this building affordable, to keep the residents and families that have lived there for a really long time, um, this is is one of the buildings in my district that has very little turnover, and that's a good thing because that means that the tenants are happy, they're satisfied, and they want to stay in, in Marasenia. So I'm grateful for that, and I want to thank the owner of the building for not only working with our office but really helping us so that we can continue to bring families out of shelters and into long-term housing, which is what they truly need. So um, I'm asking for all of my colleagues' support um, because I think this is a good project that's obviously in line with our commitment as a council and with this administration's commitment. So please vote yes um, on McKinley Manor so that we can continue to move our city forward. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you very much, Councilmember Gibson, and congratulations. Uh, unless any of my colleagues have questions on any of these items, we'll ask Billy Martin, committee clerk, to call the roll. Good morning. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote in committee on finance. Councilmember Van Bramer. I vote aye. Gibson. I vote aye. Carnegie. Aye. Cumbo. Congratulations to Councilmember Gibson, and I vote aye. Levine. Ditto on the congratulations, and voting aye. Rosenthal. Aye. Matteo. By a vote of seven in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Both items have been adopted by the committee. Thank you very much. We'll keep the roll call vote open for another 15 minutes for colleagues who may join us. And with that, we are adjourned.